Well, get this. I alluded to this earlier. Fox News. The U.S. Census is supposed to be free of politics, but one group with a history of voter fraud, ACORN, is participating in next year's count, raising concerns about the politicization of the decennial survey. The Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now, ACORN, signed on as a national partner with the U.S. Census Bureau in February this year to assist with the recruitment of 1.4 million temporary workers needed to go door-to-door to to count every person in the U.S., currently believed to be 306 million people. Gee, they're going to recruit people? Do you think they'll recruit people from their own ranks? The same people who registered all those cool voters who were dead or illegal or didn't exist, period? How neat. The U.S. Census sell sheet, an advertisement used to recruit national partners, says partnerships with groups like ACORN, quote, play an important role in making the 2010 census successful, unquote, including by, quote, helping recruit census workers. Now, this is currently being run out of Al Capone's office, a.k.a. Rahm Emanuel. This Rahm Emanuel is the biggest hatchet of hatchet men. Don't let his effeminate mystique, his ballerina past, where he used to tippy-toe across the floor. Don't let that confuse you. The guy may be effeminate, but under all that reptilian skin is a uh, is a true blue partisan. And I guarantee you he's behind this and the other uh, hacks. It's unbelievable to me. Now, of course, the census numbers are used, really, by the government for determining entitlements and so forth, uh, state funding, but most of all, determining congressional seats. How many people live where? And uh, if you have acorn types counting, and they don't count properly, because they're motivated by politics, then you poison the process. And this is a constitutionally compelled process. Will there be any outcry about this? Are we still supposed to focus on the 73 AIG uh, bonus recipients who don't affect your life one iota, but this will? This is how they fix elections. By importing people who they try and persuade to vote their way with a bunch of benefits that you pay for. By uh, by fixing the census count so they can gerrymander districts to their advantage. By putting as many citizens on the dole as possible. And always creating enemies. Everybody who disagrees with them is the devil. The devil. We gotta defeat the devil. The rich, the uh, this one, the that one. Gotta, gotta get them. By the way, isn't isn't statism depressing? Aren't these people depressing? In addition to being depraved, I mean, this is a magnificent society. Honest to God, it is. We're so lucky to be here. We're so lucky to have, by accident, been born here. An absolute accident that we're born here in this society. And rather than pray to God and thank Him, we have all these nitwits around us, these cockroaches all over the place, who are scaring all around, trying to change things. And when they control the government, they do change things. They're just depressing. And uh, we will uh, we will overcome. But I, I understand. I get a lot of emails saying, you know, this is just too much. I can't take it anymore. And I, I feel that way a lot. But then I rally, as you will. I get a second breath and I say, you know what? I'm not going to let them take this so easily. We're going to fight back. We're going to deal with them politically. And we will one day defeat them. And we will. But that's our census bureau. 